Hi everyone, so I'm about to share another journal with you and this one is called Shabby Vintage Grungy <laughs> with Butterflies. Um, the kit I use for this is from My Porch Prints. It is a, a Trevor's Not Book Size kit and I do, I'm just trying to have a quick look here to see what is actually called. It's called Shabby Grunge um, by My Porch Prints. I have also used uh, digital items from Artie Mays, the old design shop, uh, Bohemian Crafting and the Papered Soul um, who are on Etsy. Um, so um, it's like I said, Traveller's Notebook size journal, uh, two layers of coffee dyed cardstock which have been stitched together. Um, I've used one of the background papers from the kit from my porch prints. Um, here's just a little bit of collage in here. The Vintage Ladies which is a few of them throughout the journal they're from Artie Mays. Uh, the word believe here is from my porch prints as well so it measures eight and a quarter by four and a half it has one signature and oh, let me see the rest of my notes uh, 64 pages front and back and it will be listed in my shop if you're interested so there is I've done a little bit of stitching throughout this as well like on the tags and journal cards and whatnot so let's go inside. Let me check I'm in a frame. Okay, so this is one of the pages. I also used some of the pages, shrunk them down to make tags and I'll point them out as I go along. So that's one page. And here we have a, um, a three pockets, which is, you get that with the kit from My Porch Prints. And inside there, we have a coffee dyed and stenciled tag with a tab on the top we have a stamped coffee dyed tag it says this book belongs to then we have these two pieces which are from the kit as well a little tag here and this little piece there i've put some trim on here this is from the old i think it's the old design shop uh, this is from bohemian crafting all the pages have been coffee dyed and there i just made a little pocket with this um, little tag and then this is another little tag from the kit uh, the old design shop here i just made some tags using the images here from Artie Mays and the collaging of uh, vintage book paper and some of the background papers from that kit we have some crocheted trim here and plenty of journal space another page from the kit so pretty uh, little pocket here the butterflies are from Artie Mays as well and inside there that is one of the pages shrunk down to make a tag a stamp tag there and the butterfly here is from uh, Laura's shop which is called the papered soul on Etsy and that's one of her little butterfly tags and well it's not a tag it's actually just like it's like an ATC size image and then I've just obviously put it on there with the music paper and the coffee dyed cardstock this is from one of uh, my porch prints kits I think it's called Rose Garden so I used that some more coffee dyed papers there and then here this is from the Rose Garden as well and I haven't done one of these in ages and it just flips up so you've got all that journal space and you can tuck it all back inside there. That was an idea from Clemmy from Clemmy Creations. And this is the old design shop. And I've just inked all around the edges and the, the folds on that. Another coffee dyed page. This is from the kit. Here we've got, I just made these big bookmarks. I had two pieces of this length of cardstock left so I thought what can I do with that so I just made them and another tag there images from Artie Mays I think it's called Female Beauties and it's either one or two because she has got a few of them kits uh, this is from the old design shop then we have another stamped tag it says just a note and this is Bohemian Crafting here is another page shrunk down to make a tag. The old design shop. Some, actually, this was a mixture of tea and coffee. And my big bowl that I normally do it in 
has uh, got a crack in it. So what I did was I just filled up an old spray bottle and I just sprayed it all and got some, just shows you the different things that you use or the different ways you do it. You get different techniques um, from, you know, the coffee or the, the tea dine. So that is the center of the signature. And that's one of the pages from the kit. Some more tea coffee dyed paper. Then we have another tag there and that flips out, but you could glue that to make a permanent pocket. Um, another page shrunk down to make a tag and that flips out like that. And that is paper clipped on. We have another flip there. This is another one of them foldy down things. You could actually do that with more than just like folded over a piece of paper you could do quite a few pieces of paper and have that tucked up and it was more like a little you know little book than a just a flip and then another one of these bookmarks so that's just seems a lot there <laughs> that just all paper clips on there another page from the kit some crocheted trim more of the tea coffee dyed papers Another butterfly there, that's from Marty Mays. The pockets you get with the kit. Another tag, which is a shrunk down page, probably to about 70 or 75%, comes in a PDF. Um, tag, which is a stamp, coffee dyed and stamped. Another one of Laura's little butterfly cards there. On some music paper and some coffee dyed cardstock and stitched all around. Uh, that's from the Rose Garden kit from My Porch Prince. Another page there. Some more coffee tea dyed paper. Another tag here. So there's lots of tags in this one. Um, just uh, like collaged on there. And the image is Artie Mays. That opens out. And this is some... Why doesn't that want to open? <laughs> that is some French ephemera from the old design shop. And again, I've just inked up all the edges and the folds. And that goes in there. And that goes on there. Oh, a tag there that says, and the story begins. That's a little flip. And I've got some lace on there. It does hang over but it doesn't stop, you know, you opening that out. A little tag there as a pocket and a little tag there and that flips out so you could journal on there. And then another three pockets there which comes from the kit and we have this tag which goes in there. <laughs> the Tiffany & Co stamped tag and a little tag from the kit and this from the kit and then that is the back so there we have it um like i said this will be listed in my shop if you're interested if you have any questions just fire away and ask be nice if you gave the thumbs up and a comment below um so yeah thanks for watching bye